Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're looking at a new Windows Insider build, 21364 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And this again is a CO release from the CO release branch. But there is something new to, to show off in this one. You can now run Linux uh, GUI applications directly from Windows using the preview of the GUI app support for Windows Subsystem for Linux, WSL. So with the uh, GUI support for Linux, the Windows Subsystem for Linux, I'll do a separate video of that. Uh, I'm just going to focus on what's changed in this build of Windows 10 for now. What I wanted to show you first is some things with Edge and um, Task Manager. And this feature is only running out, rolling out to a subset of insiders. So actually, I can't show you. Uh, what I want to show you was here when you expand Microsoft Edge, it shows you whether it's the browser, it's an extension, uh, it's a subframe. So you get some more information about each uh, element uh, that's running under Microsoft Edge. You see, I've got the latest Edge uh, Canary, but it's still only showing the Microsoft Edge. And they say that's because it's uh, rolling out to a subset. So I can't show you that. But what I can see here is you've got um, eco mode. So you can see I've got um, these tabs open here and I can actually put things into eco mode so which is so I can get a tab and I can do eco mode and what eco mode does Microsoft say is it um, if you've got something that's consuming a lot of resources and like to limit its consumption you can do that which gives other apps uh, faster foreground responsiveness so maybe you've got a tab in edge that you don't want to close but it's taking all your CPU you can actually put it into eco mode and um, that will then uh, put that into automatic put it into eco mode and you can see here that um, some tabs are already running in eco mode I don't know if I've got any other applications that are doing that but I could uh, say maybe put your phone into eco mode or something like that so what else has changed this build a couple of minor things something else that's changed is the nightlight mode um, when that toggles to it on and off which you can't see it on this video but um, rather than it fading and transition now it just uh, switches immediately and they also uh, change some text uh, say we need to fix your account uh, you know when you uh, when you get an account issue the rest of them are um, fixes is quite um, a big list actually they fixed some issues with USB on build 21354 and theme aware splash greens are back which is good so that's when you uh, open a application light settings or whatever it'll open up like that in white if you're in light if you're in light mode or black if you're in dark mode instead of the, the application color uh, they've uh, fixed some issues with settings they fixed some hard disk um, display issues in managed disk and volumes and some UAC and some scaling and um, some uh, they were fixed. They fixed an issue with ARM sixty four support with some applications detecting presence of redistributables. So things like uh, Photo Director, Cyberlinks Photo Director work properly now. They fixed some issues with Auto HDR and split screens and um, the three uh, D view and three D uh, print three D app shortcuts. We moved back to start. So they were, did get rid of them. They moved. They brought them back. There are a few known issues with this build. Um, they're still talking about the build hanging for an extended period of time. Still never seen that. I've noticed news and interest has disappeared on my machine, but there is still an issue, a couple of issues with that. But uh, it's gone. So um, hopefully that will come back at some point. And um, they've there's still an issue with. Um, some cumulative updates for uh, .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8 and they're working on that. So that's all the main changes with uh, this build. The uh, GUI support for Windows Substitute for Linux is great if you're a GUI you know, developer. If you're a developer doing Linux applications, uh, you can have it all in one place. Like I said, I'll, I'll fire up a separate video on that. But that's this build for now and I'll see you on the next one.